Mark Gannon, the director of the Low Vision Institute in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Let's talk about glaucoma. Glaucoma is an elevated pressure inside the eye that does damage to the optic nerve fibers and radiations. And basically, glaucoma is the leading cause of blindness around the world at this point in time. In our country, in the United States, it's been greatly diminished due to tremendous strides in treatment and in the maintenance of patients who have glaucoma. So vision loss has been substantially reduced. But when we're talking about glaucoma, again, we're talking about an elevated pressure in the eye. The pressure goes up because the fluids that are being produced in the front of the eye, called aqueous, can't get out of the eye fast enough. They normally leave through a little area between the cornea and the iris, the colored part of the eye, and that little angle forms a trabecular meshwork, a, a little spongy tissue. And that spongy tissue filters the fluid as it's going out of the eye, and then it goes into a little canal called the Canal of Schlem, which is basically a vein that, that takes the fluids out of the eye altogether. If the trabecular meshwork becomes congested, then the fluids can't get out of the eye fast enough, and as a result, the pressure in the eye increases to force them out. As the pressure increases, the optic nerve head in the back of the eye, which is the most sensitive, suffers the greatest loss, and the nerve fibers in that particular area die. As they die, we lose cells and we lose peripheral vision, and ultimately we lose central vision, resulting in complete blindness. The way we check for glaucoma is we test the pressure in the eye, and a normal pressure is 16. When we see pressures between 18 and 21, we become a little bit concerned, and between 21 and 25, very concerned, and of course when they start going beyond that, we're, we're in trouble for the most part. But glaucoma itself is a progressive disease, and when we have it, we not only test the pressure, but we also look at the nerve head itself to see if through the loss of those fibers, the nerve fibers themselves, we get an excavation or cupping in the nerve head, and also we test the peripheral field to see if we've got a constriction or a visual field loss. As that occurs, we're able to determine if in fact glaucoma is present. We may have a patient who has a very strong matrix to the optic nerve head, and we might have pressures in the 20s and still have no glaucoma because the matrix to the nerve head is so strong that even though there's an elevated pressure, no damage is occurring to the fibers in the nerve. In that particular instance, we term that patient ocular hypertensive, and we monitor them very carefully. The converse is also true. We may have a very fragile nerve head, and even in low pressures, 10 or 12, we may have damage occurring. We call that low tension glaucoma. So the important thing to re remember here is, one, you need to have a regular eye exam, especially after age 40, where glaucoma becomes a more prevalent entity. When we have an elevated pressure, we then check for the peripheral field and we get a good look at the nerve head. And now we have ways of monitoring changes in the nerve head using infrared and ultrasound so that we can detect even very, very fine discriminative differences that might occur. This enables us to, to track or determine if in fact a progressive condition exists. When we find progression, then we essentially have diagnosed glaucoma. And in that particular instance, what we need to do is reduce the pressure. And fortunately, we're able to do that now with medications, typically eye drops, that will bring the pressure down and into a controllable realm where it won't continue to damage the fibers of the nerve. Once that's been accomplished, the condition is stabilized. We also have a number of surgical procedures, some of which involve utilizing lasers to create new filtration pathways through the trabecular meshwork so we can, in fact, in fact drop the pressure and the, the elevated pressure isn't required to filter those fluids back out of the eye. And then there are surgical procedures that also involve filtration. They're much more complicated and for procedures that we typically use when the other medications and avenues fail. But fortunately, 75 to 80% of the patients now can be controlled with simple eye drops and another 15 to 20% with some of the simpler laser procedures that develop some of the filtration uh, entities in the trabecular meshwork. And when those fail in the last few percentage points, we have to go to the more uh, substantial surgical procedures. So the, the point to come away with here is that it's very important to have regular eye examinations with your eye care practitioner after age 40 to make sure that the pressures are in control and that there's no progressive condition that might also relate to changes in the nerve head and the peripheral vision. And as long as those things are in check, 
You've done everything that you need to do to make sure that if glaucoma, in fact, is present, it's quarterly and can uh, be controlled and stabilized so that very little damage may occur from that point forward. Remember also that there's new hope in sight. Mm -hmm.